Okay guys, it's currently 68 degrees on Wednesday and it's raining, drizzling. I don't know if you can see the sky up there, but it's definitely not looking so hot outside. And I'm gonna go dumpster diving, which I've attempted to dumpster dive in the rain before, but um, it didn't go so well because it was pouring and right now it's just drizzling. So we're gonna go check out some dumpsters and see how this goes. Um, I brought my GoPro, but I don't, I forgot to switch out the case so that the back part is waterproof. So I guess I'm just gonna be on my phone, which is fine because it's, I got a new phone guys. But uh, yeah, let's go check out some dumpsters, see what we get today. Good after, excuse, excuse you. Sorry everyone. Winston is super excited. I just got home from a dumpster dive and he wants some snacks and he's really upset that I haven't given him any yet. Anyways, uh, just wanted to give you this cute haul that I got. Um, was over by Kirkland's today and stopped there and Bath and Body Works. Here, buddy. Here, take the whole thing. Good boy. Okay, so... I don't know why this was in the dumpster because honestly, it's so cute. Um, it's just like a little side table. It does have a couple of, Winston, stop it. It does have a little bit of scuff marks right here and a couple of, like that looks like a stain, not a, Winston, stop it. He, he, every time he sees a plastic bag, he thinks there's a treat in there for him. Um, anyways, so yeah, this is, a little end table uh there's no price on it that i can see but it still has this little thing which i'm oh i don't know what that is either maybe it was in the dumpster um so anyways i'll have to clean it up but oh that's really sticky too anyways uh brand new out of the dumpster super super cute absolutely love this table this is the first time that I've ever gone to Kirkland's and found matching lanterns. Super excited about this. Um, as you can see in here, well, this door doesn't want to open, but there's a piece of broken glass in there. I'm not exactly sure where it came from yet. Oh, it came from right up here. There's a piece missing there. And... There's two pieces of glass in there. I'm so confused. There's two pieces of glass in there, but only one, but only one piece of, huh, not, I can't figure that one out. But anyways, that one, and then this one as well. Sorry, my hands are so dirty. And the awesome thing is, this one is not even broken whatsoever. It's just coming apart. All it takes is a little bit of wood glue, super glue. I mean, I personally use wood glue, but this one is not even broken, which is so exciting to have a matching set of lanterns for the first time ever for the front or the back or wherever. Um, but yeah, it just needs a little bit of reassembling and some glue, but super cute. Also found this cute little lampshade. Um, this one also came out of Kirkland's. Maybe it came off of a lamp. I'm not sure. There was a couple of lamps. Oh, and I just dirtied it with my hand. Cool. Um, okay. So on to Bed Bath & Beyond. There was all of these chicken stocks and beef. Is it broth or stock? Okay. Stock. Beef stock and chicken stock. I just looked on the FDA website, or USDA website. There is no recall on these. And none of them expire until September of this year. So let me turn this around so you guys can see. September 2019, which is amazing. I, first of all, I didn't even know they sold chicken stock. Um, and second of all, to score chicken stock, these things are not cheap. They're like three or four bucks at the store, just like uh, Swanson brand, not even like a 
non-GMO fancy brand like this one. So, um, yeah, got two, four, six, eight, ten chicken stocks and six beef stock. Oh, I lied. There's more over here. Um, there was a bunch of this popcorn in the dumpster. They were trying to sell it for 50% off. It expired back in June, I believe. June 6th, I want to say. I saw it earlier, but now I don't know where it's at. Sorry for all the ruffling. Oh, here we go. June 11th. Uh, it's just popcorn, you guys. Use your own judgment when you guys go dumpster diving, but, you know, it won't get stale for a long time, in my opinion. Um, and it'll be gone by the time it probably goes stale anyways, but we got a lot of popcorn recently with all that Pops corn and the Boom Chicka Pop at the Walgreens um, haul that you guys see me get. And then we got an entire bag of these organic plantain chips with Himalaya salt. These ones expired. They're made with coconut oil, which is good, so they're a little bit healthier. Um, they expired June 24th, so just the other day. They'll be good for a while, and they'll be donated before they even attempt to be bad. Um, so three more beef broths in here. Some of them are a little messed up looking, um, but they're not punctured or anything. They're just squashed up. Maybe that's why they got rid of them. They were like squashed up um, in the dumpster. Another September. And then for some reason, I found like three of these guys. These were not cheap either. These were like over $5 at our grocery store. Obviously got to clean them up, but this is an expire... Oh, this expired in December. Um, but it's just coconut water. Like, I would drink that tomorrow while we're sweating in the 90 degree heat. Um, don't know what this is. Milk, chocolate, macadamia, and laces. These expired on the 23rd, which is what I think that is in big red writing. Yeah, 623 these expire. Somebody will eat those before then. And then this came out of the dumpster, which is awesome. Portable deep cleaning machines. We don't have a portable one. We just have like a regular one, but it all works the same. You just, dil it's like a concentrate and you dilute it. Um, and then all this stuff came out of the Party City dumpster. Um, honestly, it's just a bunch of junk, like nothing crazy, but Easter eggs. Uh, what else? You say something on them. Goblets on Happy Easter. Okay, so these are for someone for next year. One of them is broken right there, but I'm sure all the other 29 are totally fine. But they threw it away because probably no one bought it or wanted it. Um, a bunch of these little bowls. Super cute for just throwaways. A couple of them are chipped right there. No worries. And then... Some, oh, a pair of glasses? That's weird. A pair of broken glasses. I think we're going to throw these away. They're broken. Um, heavyweight. A little kid's play thing. This says damaged on it. Uh, oh, yeah, they're cracked right here. You can see that with the glare. They're cracked right there. Um, and then these are always ha handy to have. It's a little bit broken on this side. Sorry. This part that connects it right here is just came off, but that's like such an easy fix. I mean, you could just even tape it back together right there. Not a big deal. But these are, you know, like five bucks or something in a store. So pretty handy to have. For free and then i think that's it oh a couple of these things it did rain today like crazy um so a lot of this stuff is like wet and gross but just these little platters i mean they're broken some of them are, oh, most of them are in the corner right here but yeah maybe somebody will buy them for five cents <laughs> at a yard sale i probably would and then a balloon tails whatever that means six balloon tails so yeah that was today's little haul we're gonna head back out to 
Ulta, Aldi, and Walgreens later. So I'll upload this later and hopefully I'll be adding to it later tonight. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to bring a short video of some stuff that I found yesterday. Um, because I didn't find a lot, I'm just going to make a super quick video and then add this to another video. Um, so just so you guys know, it's not going to be a very long one. But I did find a bunch of nuts last night in my new favorite dumpster uh, that I can only visit at night. Um, cause it's, if you've watched any of my other videos, it's wide out in the open in between two different plazas, um, and on a street that people turn in to get into the plaza. So it's wide open. Um, but last night they were throwing away all these nuts. So only one of these is actually expired. Um, these are all cashew halves and pieces, and then these are all holes and then these four are different. So whole almonds, sesame cashew, deluxe mixed nuts, and oh, that's another whole cashew, so that goes over here. Um, but yeah, this one was the only one that was expired in the bunch. It expired back in March, uh, but it's sealed, it's fine. And then all these don't expire until next month, as well as all of these. There's regular and honey roasted. Uh, they all expire sometime next month so let's see these expire the 19th uh, no sorry july 3rd 2019 and then july 13th same thing so most of these expire in just a couple of weeks um oh august okay so some of these are really pretty far out on their date and then i got one of these um pistachios which sound delicious. I've never tried the um, sweet chili flavor. I don't know. Oh, okay. July 13th. Okay, wow, that's weird that they're all July 19th. Um, anyway, so that all came out of the pharmacy. And then I had to go to Costco to get gas and decided on my way that I would stop at Office Max uh, on the way to see if there was anything in any of the dumpsters there. All of our trashes get emptied Monday here, and yesterday was only Tuesday, so I didn't think there would be anything in there. But I think the Office Max is on a different schedule, unless they just dumped a bunch of stuff yesterday, because there was a ton of stuff in that dumpster. Anyways, I found all of these truffles, which I'm guessing by these they might have been from Christmas or something. I don't know. Um, they expire. I opened these to eat them just for quality. Uh, taste testing um, but these expired in April and then the rest expired all in May oh no sorry 531 so 531 and 430 is when they expired um, and I opened them I ate three of them out of here for quality purposes and they're all fine. Um, they were a little bit liquidy when I first tried them because it was 80 degrees yesterday. Um, but then I tried again later in the night uh, and they were totally fine. So yeah, I got an assortment of candy uh, and then all these nuts. So yeah, just wanted to bring you this quick little video and I will add it to another one when I find hopefully more stuff. So I will see you on the next dive. Thanks for watching. Just went on a quick dumpster dive and was able to score a couple of things. I did, oh, sorry about that. I did manage to get one box of soup uh, carried in my container here, which has a little bit of soup juice in it. But I actually was trying to get another one and then I couldn't because the, bo the bottom of the box, because it's been raining so much, had been sitting in the water and I didn't realize it. So... The whole bag fell through the box and then spilled all over in the dumpster and it was just too soupy to grab every little thing in there. So got that and then managed to get this Underwater Worlds, I'm guessing it's some sort of little cool fish tank 
It does say used on the box. It was 50% off. And hopefully all the pieces are in here. Not really sure, haven't looked at it, know nothing about fish. Um, but I did manage to get that as well. I do have the top somewhere too. And then stopped by Five Below, was able to get just a couple of things. A mock security camera, a used micro USB, this is in the back, um, but this one is just like a regular Galaxy S9 or whatever um, tip cable. And then just a little plug-in USB charger. This is awesome. I actually found one of these in the garbage at Office Max. It was a Philips brand and I put it behind my TV and now whenever I plugged it into the back of my USB port of my TV and now every time I turn on my TV I get a light and it comes with a remote just like this one. But I only was able to get, I don't know, maybe like three feet of it. So I'm going to put this on the back and see if I can connect it to the other one and somehow get the same color. So I'm super excited to try this. Hopefully it's not a return. Hopefully it's just an open package or something and they got rid of it. And then I was able to get these Solar Fairy string lights, uh, which is really cool because I actually just found... Um, I'll take you on a little trip outside real quick. I was able to get this lantern right here from Aldi, believe it or not. And the front and sides have a piece of glass, but the back doesn't. So the back is what broke, which is why they threw it away. Um, but it's solar powered, super cute. So I could throw those fairy lights in there and it'll be super cute. Um, Winston says hello. <laughs> and then I was able to get out of the Michaels dumpster these little cups, which are really cute. They are broken. Oh my gosh, glitter just got everywhere. Okay, I'll have to vacuum that up. Or throw these out. Maybe that's why. Whoops! Glitter everywhere. Um, but these are broken and now I know why they're a pain in the butt. Um, they're supposed to be glued together right there. And then this I'm not really sure about. I'm guessing it's like another fish tank type of deal. It did have these plants and stuff inside of it. So I'm guessing it's some sort of fish tank type of thing. Um, this was in the garbage with it which was what made me think of it. Uh, but it did say that it was a returned item. Um, and it did come with these little rocks, I guess they are. So yeah, I'm guessing a little fish tank. There's a, a lid for that and a plug. So a cute little fish tank bowl. Um, so yeah, was able to get, oh, and this little thing of puppy baby like puppy food um it's individually wrapped and there's supposed to be eight and there's seven in here so i guess the dog didn't like one pouch so they just returned the whole thing uh so yeah that was my quick little haul for saturday um which is awesome because usually saturdays are not that great so we hope you have a wonderful weekend and uh, hopefully i'll get some awesome stuff on sunday because that's my usual day to dive so winnie and i say bye have a great day guys